Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian for Beat Turismo and today is a full exciting day. Um, as you know, I acquired a, a Ford F-150 2014 EcoBoost. It's a limited. I bought it in September of 2020 and uh, it turns out we use it a lot more than we thought we would. I put about 45,000 miles on it, 40, 43,000 miles in just, uh, just a year and a couple months. So I drive it a lot. And the point of that story is, uh, well, you know, with fuel costs and uh, the variability from hackers, you know, hack attacks and storms and stuff, kind of decided that uh, replace this F-150 with a Lightning. So I placed my reservation day one, actually probably within the first hour of the reservations opening up back in May, I believe it was May 19th, 2021. Today is the day that I finally get an email telling me to place my order. So that's what we're going to do now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I was under the impression that I would have to go into the dealership and, uh, you know, sit there and go through the order process with somebody. Uh, that's, I guess, not the case. So it's fine. I don't mind. I'll just do it online. Um, unrelated, I, I have to go home today. I, I've got an earache and a sore throat, and uh, might have to go get a go to the doctor or something. So I decided not to go to the office. So I'm available to do this today. So here we go. Today is um, January 6th, 2022. Oddly enough, and this is what we're doing. So follow along, and I'll show you the summary of what I see when I see it. All right. So we're in the basement. And we're all set up here and I apologize that the lighting's weird and I apologize I'm not wearing sunglasses so you have to see my eyes and my crazy hair I was wearing a hat today so got an email here from a uh, sales guy and he says oh boy does that come through he says please build the order on the website Ford.com then email it to him by sharing it with him from the summary section so that's what we're gonna do right now so, um, we no longer land at, I thought we used to land at um, a lightning splash screen here. Oh, and I'm on the Mac, by the way, and I don't normally use a Mac, but it has the biggest screen. So we'll see how this goes. Here we go, let's build in price. Uh, you already know. Uh, yesterday, I used my zip code and it said it was not a valid zip code. <laughs> Okay, so after a lot of thought and playing with this already, I've kind of decided that the one for me is going to be a Lariat with the extended range battery, which is spicy. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and the reason I'm choosing that over the Platinum is the Platinum has everything included. Um, it has higher level leather and it has higher uh, a higher audio system. It has all all the um, the higher tow package or the high the high capacity towing capability all that stuff built in plus a couple other features um, I didn't see that there was thirteen thousand um, four hundred dollars worth of features so that's why I've chosen to just go with the Lariat the Lariat to me seems to do everything I want I needed I wanted heated and ventilated front seats and heated rear seats I wanted the extended range battery um, the big screen you know in the dash i wanted the navi the um uh, the xm radio and all that stuff um, the only thing that i'm not getting with this that i really wanted was power running boards and apparently they're not going to be ready for a time i'm hopeful that i can build now and maybe before it gets delivered i can find some or get some all right so let's move along so here we go we've chosen the F-150 Lightning Lariat. Um, it defaults to black, that's fine. I'm gonna go with antimatter blue. Look at that. Let's take a look at it from some other angles. I like the way this truck sits. And seeing it in person, I get the same sense that, not that it's lowered, but it just doesn't seem to have the wheel gap like you get in a normal gas truck. And I guess a good part of that could be because the extra, whatever, 1,400 pounds <laughs> um, that you get by, of course, losing the engine, exhaust, gas tank, but then adding the gigantic battery underneath. 
Um, I just like the way it sits. It looks like it sits level. It looks like it sits a, a little bit lowered. I would even lower it more if I want, if I could. I'm not sure if the family, um, in particular my wife, uh, would go for that, but um, it kind of, you know, you lower it too much and obviously it's not really a truck anymore. It's more like a, just a big obnoxious vehicle that can't do quite as much, but I don't know. I feel like I could lower it about an inch and a half, two inches, and it would look good and it would still do truck things. We'll see. There's the side view, and I like the side view. I mean, it, from this view, it almost looks like the front sits a little higher than normal. It's almost like, the, you know, a lot of the guys take the gas trucks and level them. And I'm, I'm not about that because leveling typically involves raising the front an inch and a half or two and a half inches. That's the opposite of what I want to do. I want to lower the back. This kind of looks like it just comes with the back already lowered, so it's leveled but it looks to me like it's leveled by lowering the back, not by raising the front. And I would say it looks the same in person. If you've, if you've had a chance to see one, and I have, and I'll try to post some pictures here. If I can, I may not be able to, may not be able to find them, but if I can post some pictures in here, then I'll show you uh, what it looks like in person. Of course, that's pre-production. Couldn't take pictures of the inside, but um, pre-production, but still pretty close to production. And by the way, if you know, if you notice the picture rail on the wall, they're just the frames. Uh, we haven't gotten around to putting actual pictures in there. Um, there's where all your weight is. If you haven't seen one of these in person, which I, I'm gonna guess that if you're watching this video, you've you've got some knowledge. But you know, there's your battery, the whole way front to back. Uh, the extended range battery has this extra little bump up here, basically under the back seat and under the bed, but. The battery is contained within the frame rails, so that's cool. From what they tell me, when they need to service the battery, it's like six bolts or eight bolts and like, you know, three or four plugs, connectors, and it, they can drop it out. And it's heavy, of course, but they can drop it out. And then once they drop it out, they can open it up and service individual cells. And I learned that by going to the um, EV tour that they set up. I had to drive to Philly for that. All right, well, there's not a whole lot of options so far. Um, you can look at the features. You can look at this on your own, but what I really wanted to, to have for myself was extended range battery. The uh, Copilot 360, I kind of wanted, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to pay the money for it. The tow package, again, something nice to have. I'm probably never going to tow with this thing because just kills the range. I really didn't want the twin panel moonroof because um, I really don't like the sun that much. I've been told that there's a physical cover that slides over it or you know under it so so we can block the sun out so hopefully that's the case and if not I'll just have to put an even heavier tint on that's that moonroof. Uh, yeah the 80 amp charge station pro this is the beautiful thing that lets you backfeed power from the truck to your house. And since we're on solar here, it's going to take a little bit of extra equipment, but we'll be able to charge the truck. If the grid goes down, we'll be able to use the truck as a battery backup for the house, but then charge the truck with the solar panels, meaning we can go, you know, multiple days without power. Um, where I live here, I think the longest we've ever gone without power is about four or five hours. But with the way uh, the world's changing, in terms of uh, climate and uh, um, vulnerability of the grid. I, I'm looking at this as a, a great feature. Do I need to go through all the features? Sure, we'll go through them all. Heated second row is right here. That's, that's all they're gonna mention in here. Um, none of these are links that I can click on to show you other things. So I guess we won't talk about the other stuff. I know in the standard range, I guess they call it, Lariat. Um, you get the big screen in the dash here. You get the heated and ventilated front seats. 10-way um, power adjustable, a couple other things. Leather, of course. Here's the Max Trailer tow package I was talking about that you get with the um, Platinum or Limited Platinum, I guess, um, that I just, I don't know. I don't see a need for it. I don't intend to tow with this thing really ever. 
Um, I hope I don't regret this decision later, but for now, I don't have any intention of towing. It's It can still tow as it is, it's just not going to be able to do the max amount of towing, which is perfectly fine. Actually, you know, I say that I'm not going to tow, but if I could tow my Type R around, I probably would. And, uh, of course, that car weighs about 3,400 pounds, so maybe on a trailer, we'd be looking at, like, I don't know, you probably know better than me, but maybe 5,000, 5,500 pounds. Easily within the standard tow capability of this vehicle. Don't need the max trailer tow package for that. Get down here to wheels. Well, there's only one choice if you're going with a Lariat. If you go with one of the other trim levels, then there are other wheel options. But then they make you change out, like, your package. Um, so... Not sure if that's going to be desirable, but you, this might be one of those things where you just sort of get what they got and then figure it out in the aftermarket. These are the same pictures from above. Tires. You can select different tires. You got an all season here, and you've got a uh, all terrain tire, which I don't see the point of um, for me and where I live and how I plan to use this truck. This is going to be an on road truck. Um, I'm going to hit gravel just when I get to my destination, whether I'm going to work or at one location or another. There's some gravel. I don't see the need for all-terrain tires if I'm only going to be in that gravel a little bit. I do have a different set of wheels that I can put on for snow. And a snow tire compared to an all-terrain tire, a snow tire is better by far. Um, it's only an 18-inch wheel and it's a steel wheel. And, of course, I can just swap them back and forth whenever I feel like, so I think it's kind of the best scenario. So we're going to go with all seasons. Um, one thing with this truck being heavier than a standard F-150, you're probably going to go through tires faster than you would on a regular F-150. Um, you can try to, you know, just keep your tire pressure up and it should hopefully keep them um, lasting as long as they can. But, you know, you're just wearing the tires extra with all that extra weight. Exterior options. You got a bed divider, a toolbox. The toolbox is kind of nice, but then you can't have a cover. Doesn't look like they have any covers. Is that you, kitty cat? Hi, kitty. Meow. Meow. Hi, kitty. <laughs> doesn't, look like they, like, doesn't look like they sell any covers from uh, through the factory or the dealer. But maybe the dealers do different. Uh, you know, I really don't know. It's my first time doing this. Here's the bed liner options. You got a drop in plastic and you've got a spray in tough bed. Five ninety five. I don't know. I think the line X is five hundred. So I'm thinking about doing a spray in, but just doing it aftermarket. Save a hundred bucks. Um, I have no desire for the individual trailer tire pressure monitoring system I, you know i'm still like i said i'm not trying to tow with this really so i'm not going to do that all this other stuff's included you got the tinted rear glass um power sliding rear window you know going into the bed box link power tailgate now that is something that you get that you don't get with the xlt or the pro which is i think it's valuable um at least to have that soft open. That way, if your kid, your shorter kid, happens to open the tailgate, it doesn't bang him on the top of the head and hurt him. Twin panel moonroof is included. Uh, not happy about that, but uh, I guess I'll take it. Storage box would be kind of nice, but again, I want to cover the bed and kind of make it like another enclosed, you know, not necessarily climate control, but at least sort of dry space. Uh, not going to be as dry as the frunk but it'll be decently clean and dry. Um, bed tray, no. Bed cargo net, no. Cargo net, no. Wheel locks, absolutely hate wheel locks, so I'm not getting those. The bliss is included, that's good. That's something that I feel like is nice and smart to have on a big vehicle like this. 9.6 kW Power Pro onboard, uh, Pro Power onboard included. That's included with the extended range battery, so you get that. You got the spotlights on the side mirrors. I'm pretty excited for that. I like lights. LED box lighting. Oh, really excited for that because you know me. I like my lights. Running boards. Uh -huh. Only one selection here. And it's fixed running boards. So 
what does that mean? Hopefully some guys out there are going to select no running boards and then I'm going to be able to sell these to them on Facebook Marketplace because when the power ones come out, I'm going to want them. There's your 10 way leather trimmed floor liner, carpet mats, uh, floor mats, ETC. I don't know. You could get the F-150 ones. They seem to be costly. I think you could probably do better if you don't get them at time of sale. But again, maybe you just want everything to show up ready to go. So I get that. Wireless charging pad. Uh, that's for your phone, <laughs> not for the vehicle. The in-vehicle safe. Um, I don't need that, but I understand some people do. And I get it and uh, go for it. b &O sound system. I think that was a surprise. I don't think that was intended to be in anything less, less than the Platinum, but maybe it was a B&O with um, eight speakers. I'm pretty sure the Platinum has like a 16 speaker system. Maybe the Pro and the XLT only have, you know, six speakers or something, something less. Audio upgrade, well, there's nothing to select here. We got it all. All right, so here's where we are. Here's our package, everything there. I was asked to just take this and share it. There's a little share button here. So I'm gonna take care of that. I'm gonna send that off to my sales guy and then um, I'll let you know when I hear back. That's all for now. Thanks for watching this video. If you're as excited as I am, please subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna do as much as I can with this truck and then share as much of the process with you guys as I can. Thanks, have a good day.